It's Wednesday morning, I am clean and we have had 7.7 mil overnight since midnight and 1.1 mil before midnight, which means uh, won't be getting on any land for at least a day or two. So I've been invited to, the, I think it's pronounced Samas, uh, it's got a Z in it. It's a grassland machinery manufacturer in Poland. So they invited me last week and they booked some flights and I just said, look, if it's a dry day, I can't afford to go. We need to get going. But as it happens now, I won't be doing any field work probably till at least Saturday or Sunday. So I'm just gonna grab a mount out this Merlin, which I had for in the sky news thing the other day. Some of you might have seen Tom Pemberton, BBC Breakfast, that's this morning, talking about the wet weather. Now, if I'd have been in, I'd have took some of this mud with me to show them. I know when they took the wheat, when we're talking about how dry the wheat is or how wet the wheat is, we made up with like the visual. The lad took a bag of sloppy soil and maybe a bag of dry soil and said, you try and work with that. Yeah, so um, obviously everyone's got it wet. You can't turn his cows out either. But no, it's gonna travel down to Luton Airport, which is about three hours away. Well, actually a farm before it's parked there. Someone that they know. Then uh, meeting, I think Joe Seals is going as well. Um, GS Machinery as well. Michael from GS Machinery is going. So we're gonna jump on a plane, fly to Poland, go around the factory and have a look at some farms. So it should be quite interesting. And hopefully when I come back, it'll be dry and we can get on with some field work. So that's just somewhere on the Merlot. Yeah, move, moving chip round. There's nine load of OSR going out today. So that'll keep keep John busy probably on the Merlot. I think Morgan's gonna go and put a gate on for the horses. And I don't know whether they can turn them out though, because the fields are just so wet again. Yeah, so they're gonna keep the yard running, but I'm getting frustrated now. It's just, just every, what's the date now? It's the third, third already, third of April already. And still got a lot of beans left to go in. We're probably over halfway. I like to think we're over halfway because we've used most of the seed. Um, <laughs> there is 24 acre field that we forgot about. We thought someone was having potatoes on it and they're not. So, um, which is quite annoying because it's quite a dry field. We could have drilled it with a uh, winter wheat. I bet we'd have had a chance of getting that in, in September, October time. So we're gonna probably put beans on that now. Flight land, so we don't know. Spring barley. Um, comes dry won't do on there but there's a chance that we get beans on it if we get a get a dry day or whatever we'll probably stick it into beans yeah so just have a look around the corner see if there's any wagons getting loaded and then say bye to my mum jump in the car um sit on the motorway and get down to Luton oh like that digger is that drain is still running actually because Chris and Danny next door went and checked it last night said it's just still running full bore but the drain that it's flowing into is just about keeping up now so that's good but saying that it has rained overnight so maybe it's not now I think John or my dad will go and have a look later I'll try and get to send me a video so yeah no no one around there loading wagons of course not because both Merlots are here anyway I'm waffling now I need to get in the car and get gone just arrived at a farm not far from the airport and there's a field of OSR just coming into flower. It's a bit uneven, a bit like ours. It's sort of behind them trees where it's not getting as much sun. It's a little bit behind, but this here looks well considering it's a miserable day. Lovely tree line drive as well. Got you there. Three hours. The coat's not got a hood, but I brought a new one with me, fresh out the wrapper. Joe's there with his uh, green coat on. It's not supposed to be raining in Poland, but it's raining here. It'd be rude not to have a little mooch around this yard full of tidy machinery while we're here. So it's 770 Lexian, which is similar to what we bought. We used to have a 770. Took all the guards off, I think, to winterize it. We never took that one off. We just used to leave it dusty. <laughs> New tires as well. We now have gone to red wheels on them. You alright? Hello mate. Just having a bit of a mooch, you just yeah, put a track on it, are you? I reckon I do, yeah. New, new wheels as well, eh? New idlers? Yeah, yeah, because we've got, got, got a couple of pulls on that side. So, tracks are better than on ours. <laughs> 485. What's ours? A 470, I think. Oh. Pretty similar. Oh, wait, so. 11, 
Five years different. It doesn't look it. It's mint, isn't it? Proper that. For some reason, that was in cinematic mode. What do you think, Joe? Should we fold the um, seats down at Rainbow and get a tracking? Get which in? A tracking. That's <laughs> so what you need a new straw blower. Uh, pretty similar. Ours has the screen now, doesn't it? Like for the GPS. Yeah. The dome on the balcony. So you got a dome. No. All oh, right. Yeah, no. What's that? Eight metre vaddy. It's got to be eight metre, hasn't it? Crawler Central here, 370. That's proper, that, isn't it? Choose your weapon. All on tracks. Oh, little 720 here. See, that's the same size as a 724. Bowser on the back as well. It's monster, that drill. You wonder how it fits in that shed, really, wouldn't you? Drove over a stone, it could hit the roof. Well, no, that drill fits in the shed, won't you? Yeah? Oof. Big folding power harrow. Big set of discs, a plow. The solar behind as well. So this is 936 for 939. 14 plate. Ooh, wind on the camera. It's three six in it, I think. Oh, fat tires. Nine hundreds then. I can't read the size. Oh no, seven tens. Yeah, nine three six. One from Pike. It's a Pike. It drove a nine three six from John O'Groats to Land's End. Original. Nine, three, six. Couple of JCBs keep Joe happy. It's uh, what they call agri bibs, them or something. Don't know, I can't read it. Oh, bib loads. Hey, up. This guy's here servicing the um, the quad track and putting his idlers on it and a new track. Part one track. Wait, which track's knackered then? This one or the... Let's have a quick mooch. Well, it's got wire showing, has it? Yeah, and it's starting to peel the... Oh, the block's off, the I see. drives off, yeah, I'm going to start doing that, like that there. It's so what, which, which one goes in, that one or that one? Yeah, front one. So that goes in? Yeah, put a block in there. Screw it right on here. Yeah. And it just detains itself. And then uh, when the quad tracks are good, because they they can't, every time you use hydraulics, they constantly tension the tracks. Right. So it's, you just start it up and the tracks extend and another job. Just take these, you basically detention the track, take these two wheels up here. Oh, so you have to unbutt, oh yeah, because yeah, it goes, the blocks off. have got to come past, yeah, haven't they? exactly. They're, they're, they're not bad at all. Oh, and hang it on a forklift. That's it, just peel it off the top and it just comes off like a massive back. Well, you don't want it to do that when you're getting wet in a field. That's <laughs> okay. No, no, I can't do this yet. So, so what? Oh, I see you're replacing that because the yeah, rubber's come off. Oh, yeah. The size's gone a bit as well. Ah, but yeah. They're different to a, like a Challenger, if you like. You get the hub. Yeah. And the wheel bolts the hub. So it's literally eight bolts and the, 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 the wheel comes off. But these are a, a, a complete hub. Right. As part of the wheel. See, see them plastic caps? Did you yeah. put them on? Because they didn't come with them originally, uh, did they? That, no, they fitted them. And they are. Um, yeah, they are very, very good. Yeah. Straight away, I saw them. As soon as you turn up, saw there's one at the back's got no oil in it. So yeah. Well, D you know, Dave Jones, because he has a farm up the road, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. said the best way to check them is you check them in opposite corners from here. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, and you can see them all year. And it does save time. It yeah. It does save you time and money because those wheels get such a speed. And there's, only, there's such a little amount of oil in there that by the, if, if you've got one that's run out of oil halfway around the head, then it's, it's finished. 
Well, well, D Dave Jones brought his up to our tractor at Christmas and he said, oh, we've put these clear caps on. This was two yes. years ago. Yeah. And I went to the class factory and none of them had clear caps. And I said to him, then when our combine turned up, it had clear caps. Now, I don't know whether they listened to me, it was in the pipeline. But, but we did 940 miles in four days on the islands yeah, on the yeah, combine. Yeah. They lasted. They were good. They were yeah, good. yeah. They lasted, Spot yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, I just need new tracks for the quad track, though, because they're worn out. Yeah. So, yeah. Proper, though, isn't it? Beastie Bateman, 23 plate Bateman on extended drop legs to get bigger wheels. And then this is a filling area, so it's all bunded. And then the thing that you spill or whatever you can wash off goes through this bio box, which is like compost. You kind of like spray it with water and filter it through. It drips down, and then at the bottom you end up with clean water. And then all the racking, everything's bunded. And then even in here as well, if anything was to spill. It's contained because the floor's got like a concrete lip all the way around it. Proper mint. Oh, look at that for an itinerary as well. A bit looting and there's the uh, car park that's burnt down. We've been ripping it out. Looks a bit twisted, some of that steel work. Remind me never to fly out of looting again. It's just chaos. I never knew you could get a top Trump's vending machine. It's not got the tractors one though. No. Oh, there's an empty gap. It's a massive plane, isn't it? There's Joe over there, he's sat at the back. He's going to arrive an hour after us. There's the air car park from another angle. Anyway, in Warsaw, going to the Samas factory tomorrow and around some farms. So, and I'll end the video now. Ian's on the birthdays. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm turning into a farmer. I'm going to moan about the rain. <laughs> Hi, hello, Keith is 11. Harry Bradley is 17. Keith Gibson is a massive 93 years of age. Miles Redwood is 22. John Fryer is 65. Stephen Johnson is 55. Scott Yule is 38. Pronounced. Yule, but with an E on it. You know, if you were Scouts, that'd be Yuli. Mac Walsh is six. Harley Pepper is eight. Peter Hancock, Jonathan Murray, and Michael Mannion. Happy birthday to you. £63,604 raised, and I'm going in. Oh, yeah, by the way, you know, I said Joe will arrive an hour after us. Well, we were on the front of the plane, and we walked straight through passport control because there was no one there. Joe was at the back of the plane with, I don't know. 300 people in front of him so he will actually arrive hour after us anyway that is all for today joe seals ending thanks for watching see you tomorrow